What's up guys, it's McMastodon. Welcome back to my Minecraft Zoo project. Here it is, the entrance. This is episode two. If you saw episode one, you've seen all this. But I just want to do a quick review uh, for anybody who hasn't seen the first episode and kind of for myself because I built all of this months ago and things came up and it's been a long delay but we're back in the zoo and I have some new stuff to show so this is the entrance this is the big entrance overhang thingy these are the ticket windows for getting entry into the zoo this is the the initial plaza with the waterfall coming down and the rabbit enclosure because we created the rabbits first. One of the things I'm trying to do in this is start off with some of the new mobs. So these are new to 1.8. Uh, Minecraft 1.9 for PC will be coming out soon, hopefully. And when that happens, we will I will go straight to working on the 1.9 mobs and has that rabbit escaped? Has Nas Knapsack, have you escaped? I think you have escaped, haven't you? Hmm, we might have to put a better seal on that. So here's the rabbit enclosure. This is the info for the rabbits. This is all in episode one, so I won't harp on it again, but for the new stuff let's take a look at the map the directory you are here down here it's hard to see in the bright sun but there's a whole brand new path that leads out to something new we'll have to go see what that is and it was hinted at in the last segment the last part the first video there was a missing rabbit right the killer rabbit well I have been working on the path and this is sort of a leaf wall you might say uh, it needs to be prettied up a little bit but one of the concepts is I don't want the visitors to the zoo to be able to wander off of the visitor areas and one of the places they shouldn't go is swimming in the pond necessarily so um, if I wasn't in creative mode, I wouldn't be able to fly over the tops of these leaves. It's just to kind of keep the, the people where they need to be. And this is the path. It's more of the same that we started out over there. One thing I do want to mention, though, is the concept of open space versus closed space. So this path kind of wanders close to the woods we've got these these uh custom dark oak trees they are extra tall i've been working on them i'm trying to keep them in the character of the dark oak tree so it's got the straight trunk that kind of sits in the middle and then the sort of a, a balloon of leaves maybe at the top or in certain places so i didn't want to make it look like any other kind of tree um, or even a more natural looking tree try to keep it in its own style uh, but this was all woods and I opened it up so you don't feel closed in by the woods in any one spot so if the woods if the trees close in and they're overhanging the path on one side it's open on the other side and then over here it kind of switches so it, it just gives a feel of, um, I, I guess it gives the anyone walking along the path a little bit more comfort. And then things close in over here, but then they open up and there's a view to the pond. And uh, I still have those blue markers up there. That is where the path will be going eventually, but we haven't gotten there yet. And I'm thinking, and I'll show this in a second, but I'm thinking of doing something out across the pond maybe a bridge out to this little island here and doing a little something out on this island but that is for future planning for right now we are looking at 
the Hall of Hostiles. And this is where the, the overworld hostile mobs will be for the most part. Now I'm going to have to do a cut here and take care of something because, well, there's the nature of Minecraft. I was way over there and all my hostile mobs are gone for right now. So I will, I have some uh, command blocks and I will show that in just a second, but let me go and bring all the mobs back so that we can give the tour of the hall and it will have all of the creatures in the exhibits. Okay, so they should all be in here. So this is the the entrance <laughs> to the Hall of Hostiles, and it's it kind of leads you in. It, it's not fully enclosed yet, and it's for this is the spider exhibit. So they are there on the other side of the bars. There are some on this side, and I believe there should be some on the other side. And they do tend to climb up over the top. They can get over the top. So if, it, if, a, if a visitor comes in here, the spiders can, they can look straight up at the spiders above them. Here they go. Good job, guys. And I do believe they have names. Ah, oh, yes, Arya, Tywin. You may sense a theme. There are more, although I don't see them now. Here we go. Ah, Peter. Uh, the They do despawn if you get too far away, and they do kind of kill themselves by jumping off. So uh, we need to respawn them from time to time. But they can't escape. Uh, it is perfectly safe for visitors here. Uh, the, the, the leaves enclose them on top. And of course, spiders can't fit through these spots. Uh, enough chit chat maybe I should show I can uh, just change my game mode here and grab this book hopefully good so spiders can appear anywhere in the overworld with a light level less than 8 they are hostile in the dark but will not attack when light level of 10 or higher run fast spiders are some of the fastest creatures in the world they can also climb straight up walls look around you can you see the spider climbing the stone pillars so this is written you know just as if it were a zoo uh it talks about how they don't fit through the spaces they're not poisonous but they can't be poisoned either they can sometimes appear with status effects making them even faster uh, they can be invisible. Some history about spiders. I am not going to spend too much time on these books because, well, there will be a world download soon and you will be able to read them for yourself if you'd like. Here is Doug, my spider jockey. He tends to like to be in the ceiling. We may have to redesign his exhibit so that it's a little bit safer for him. But for now, he, we are safe from him because he won't shoot through the glass. The skeleton exhibit. That's right. The skeleton's natural habitat is underground. They also spawn in the nether and, of course, dungeons. And we have... We should have six friends. We do. We have six friends there. They also have names, although you can't see it through the glass. If you check out the world download when it is available, you will be able to check them out for yourself. And now we are going deeper and deeper into the Hall of Hostiles, and it's getting spookier and spookier. Uh, this may be... Uh, I should be safe. I believe we've designed this to be safe. Yes, well, Nolan is trying to get to us. They probably all will. Uh, there is, of course, the zombie info. I don't want to get too close since I am in... I am... <laughs> I am in uh, survival mode. But we have regular zombies. We have a zombie villager. We have a zombie with equipment, and there should be a chicken jockey in there somewhere, unless he despawns since I spawned him. 
it looks like there is light being cast into their little mock village exhibit because zombies like to attack villages but it isn't they should be safe from burning the leaves are up there but it's open over there so the light can come in and then we go deeper and deeper there are a couple of exhibit exhibits that are yet to be opened this one very very spooky I think you can guess what it's going to be just by the nature of the construction but it is not open yet and this little slot is where you will see the uh, the heart of that exhibit and it has to be that size that is a hint and by process of elimination this yet to be uh, I hear the chickens, so the chicken jockeys are in there uh, this is supposed to look like a natural cave and by process of elimination the main the feature attraction not here yet unfortunately I promised the killer rabbit and there he is the killer rabbit and he has a book over here we should have no we have lost I will have to respawn him in it and that gives me an opportunity to show the uh, the tunnels so it just because I promised this book I'm going to show it off there was once a naturally occurring and very rare variety of rabbit called the killer rabbit look at his evil red eyes he wants to eat you now the killer rabbit can only be artificially bred and won't appear in nature killer rabbits are very dangerous uh, it talks about how they're faster they will lunge at you with their fangs uh, and he is named Tim that is a reference to the reference that the killer rabbit is from uh, by that I mean Monty Python and uh, Tim was the character who I believe Tim was the character who introduced the, the main characters to the killer rabbit but he won't attack me because actually I'm not sure why he's not attacking me right now or or at least even thinking about it maybe he can't see through the bars so by the zombie exhibit and over here there's this little hidden door oh and by the way this before i go in there this is uh reminiscent of the entrance and it sort of leads you back out so there's this there's these deep dark tunnels and the it's it's all spooky in there it's it's got uh construction reminiscent of the the dungeons not the dungeons the uh the strongholds and then you come out here and it's and it 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 warms you back up to the overworld start to start to feel like we're back in the, the zoo proper uh, but let me just jump on down in this i still haven't gotten the tunnels worked out uh i showed them the beginnings of them in the first video but I'm st still working on the design. And so down here in the tunnels, oh, now you can hear it. You can hear it. There are these command blocks for summoning the various hostile creatures for the Hall of Hostiles. There's a little bit of redstone over there. That is something that hasn't panned out yet, but it may be uh, an addition to the exhibit at some point. Here are the command blocks for the zombies in case they despawn here are all our friends uh, maybe i will show uh i must switch back and we're back and i should be able to uh yes so this is the zombie with gear so he has a leather helmet his name is anderson over here we have uh just just a regular zombie named Quaron. Here's a, a chicken with, or a zombie riding a chicken, Scorsese. I'm sure you'll notice that theme. And this, this command block just kills the chicken that gets left over. If, uh, if the rider despawns, sometimes the chicken is left behind and we don't want that. So we will kill the chicken and, uh, and spawn the new zombies. So you heard it when I spawned it and is it gone again? 
No, nope, he's still here. He's there. He is. There's my little guy. And I don't think he can get into any of these blocks. It's just grass. These are iron. <laughs> because we don't want him crawling into a block or something. And, uh, oh. Oh, we need to put a sign on here. Silverfish. Of course, they appear in the, uh, the strongholds. And, of course, uh, the extreme hills biomes. So that's the Hall of Hostiles. I hope you like it. I hope you appreciate the designs, the attention to detail that I'm trying to put into it. Some of it needs to be worked out. And, you know, like uh, Doug, the uh, spider jockey, he has a little trouble with the ceiling. But for the most part, this is the way it's going to go. Now, when we come back out, I've got a nice little plaza. There are some details that I may want to add in here. There's a bench for sitting down. Um, and I'm thinking maybe a, a vending cart? A snack cart of some kind might get added at some point. I'm toying with the idea. I'm trying to come up with something that works for me. But I'm going to add some flowers in here. We're just going to spruce this place up a little bit and carry on with the path. Probably going to head off in this direction and start working the planes because there's plenty of overworld mobs we can do and at some point we're going to have to start doing some of the other dimensions too so uh, i hope you will join me for that and many other future episodes or at least videos i don't know if they're going to be called episodes but join me and i will see you then and if you liked this one please click the like button i really appreciate it and then I will see you next time. But until then, I am McMastodon. This is my Minecraft zoo project. And this is the path around the lake. And everybody, take care. Dog cart. Look, he's even got a little spot for hot dogs. <laughs>